I had some questions about free response 39, so I wanted to take some time to go over it. And this is free response 39 from the Baron Flashcards 3rd uh, edition. Tells us that we have a model desktop computer that is normally distributed with, uh, with a mean of 42 months and standard deviation of 12 months. You will notice that I immediately drew the normal distribution for this. I represent the standard deviations as well as the number of months. I always find this can be very helpful because regardless of the questions that are going to be asked after this, having this visual of this normal distribution and how it's laid out can be very helpful in problem solving. Now, the first part is asking us, a warranty will repair any failing computer within 18 months free of charge. The company's contracted cost to repair computers is $300, which means that anytime a computer breaks, they have to pay $300 to fix it. What is the expected value of the cost to the company per computer? So you'll notice here, I highlighted all the computers that would fail less than 18 months, oh, excuse me, less than 18 months after the computer's been sold. This makes sense because you probably, if you buy a computer, you'd expect it to last a bit more than 18 months. So the company says, okay, we're gonna cover you if it fails before that. Now, based on the normal model I drew here, I know that that means two and a half of percent of my computers are probably gonna need repairs. So I know that I'm gonna have to pay $300 for two and a half percent of those computers. Now for expected value, remember, you multiply your value times the probability. So I'm multiplying 300 times two and a half. I also know that I'm gonna have to pay zero dollars for the remaining computers, which is about 97 and a half percent. So what this is gonna tell me is the expected value per computer that they should expect to pay. Again, because $300 for two and a half percent and then $0 for the remaining 97 and a half. I add this up, I end up getting $7.50, which means that the company can expect to pay about $7.50 per computer for, for these repairs. Now, ultimately, they're not paying that per computer. What they're doing is they're only paying for computers that break. But this represents about how much they should expect, you know, when they sell a computer, like, okay, but $7.50 of this should probably go towards repairing future computers. All right, now for part B, it says, suppose the company is willing to extend the warranty to an additional 5% of computers. What warranty should they offer? So if I go to my normal distribution here, I can even just kind of ballpark it. Like, all right, this is about 2.5%. So I can go out a little bit further here and say, yeah, this is probably going to be close to another 5% right here. And maybe I'll do that in a different color. Yeah, I'll do that in like bluish. There we go. So this represents the additional 5% that they're going to extend that warranty to. So that means they're going to be taking care of 7.5% of their computers. So I want to figure out what value it's going to be right here. So what value will 7.5% of my data be less than? So in order to do that, I can use inverse norm. Because I have my area, which is about 7.5%. I have my mean, 42. And I have my standard deviation of 12. And if I do this out, I end up getting an answer of about 24 point, I believe it was 47, somewhere in that ballpark. So you can round it up. Some people did. I, you can do 24 and a half. You can say 24, 25, doesn't matter. But ultimately, this tells you that tw about 7.5% of your computers are going to fail within 24 and a half months, or at least that's what the company expects. So I wanted to walk through this a little bit because, again, people had some questions. So this is a great example because it allowed us to go through normal distributions as well as expected value up here, and it allowed us to review those calculator functions that we use for normal distributions, in this case, inverse norm. Hopefully this helps.